Happy Thanksgiving! You owe me so much! <laughs> that is the spirit of Thanksgiving. I am remaking the spirit of Thanksgiving. What do you think of that? Nah, you ain't dressed. I can't put your ass on camera. Now, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I had a breath test of business. I can't pay nobody to even drink to test my breath testers. I have to do it myself. And since it's 9 o'clock, I'm here at work. <laughs> Guess what I do at work? I have to consume alcohol and then I check my breath testers. Ah! Woo! Happy Thanksgiving. I'd like to give thanks to me. For being such a super guy who spent three years in homelessness, bagged everybody that there's to bag. I even bagged me uh, three VA hospitals. <laughs> I bagged me a bunch of people, got a whole bunch of people fired. I mean, I've just been a tear ass, just a tear ass. <laughs> That's what you get for messing with me, hurting my business, hurting my life, maybe blow 10 years out of my life. Why? Because this country has got a plan for you if you're poor and if you're black. That means light skin, how's black negroid? And a nappy headed dark skin. Negroid, and I created a new word, it's called Negroid, that's for Negro imbecile. <laughs> oh God, you black people watching this show must be getting the kick out of me. Y'all need to quit getting mad. I'm telling your hate, your anger, your frustrations, all through me. All of you guys that are frustrated about America, that's got this hate shit with America. Uh, I never had that because I always had money. Then they made me poor. Then I figured out I couldn't get no girls. I never knew that. I thought they liked me for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> and the fine, fine ass women I used to get, it just dawned on me it was because I was spending so much money. <laughs> and I thought that was love. <laughs> At least I ran into an honest one named Genesis. And um, she's kind of like, well, if you buy me a house, I'll have your baby. I said, well, you're getting smart. You're getting smart. You ain't having no babies for free. <laughs> what? Girls out here having babies for freaking free. They're called bastard baby children. Their daddies to welfare. Or the new guy that comes to step up on mom. That's a fucked up lifestyle and that's a fucked up culture. That's a fucked up civilization, and I look like them. And if they don't like it, it's my job to tell them what you're doing makes me look bad. Get my point? Yeah. And that's all I'm trying to say to black people, man. All of this would not have happened to me if so many of y'all weren't such a bunch of freaking cowards and imbeciles that's walking around electing black elected officials thinking he's doing something for you. He ain't doing nothing for you. He's in office for himself. You ever had dealing with those guys? Oh, I kind of like prosecute lots of them. I prosecute them. And nobody's ever done that before, and I haven't even gotten credit for it yet. But I plan to. I'm the first guy that has successfully prosecuted every elected official from the mayor to the councilman and every agency of the, one of the largest cities in the United States of America, if not the largest. Okay, what about the economic center of the United States? 
and the Western world. The stock market. I got me a Bloomberg in the litigation. I got his police chief. I got his HRA chief. I got the Queens County District Attorney in there. I got the NYPD. I got, I even got the legal department of the crazy people ward trying to make me out to be a crazy mama. You hear that? They give you a legal aid attorney that's prosec that's helping put you away. How do you get a defense attorney that's trying to put you away? How do you have a court evaluator, Donna Fury? And the last one from the legal services at Creedmoor Psychiatric Legal Services is Jamie Butchin. You can't be a lawyer that suck like that. I got a nine-bar JD on the internet. And I'm beating you that went to law school. And you got a problem calling me doctor. Oh, hell, I don't give VD shots to Negro. I'd let them suffer. I wouldn't give them any medication. <laughs> I was only joking, of course. But you get my point. Black people, you guys have not done enough to get your self-respect in America. Every immigrant group come here and just whoop your behind at damn near everything and take your shit. And I'm talking about the majority of y'all because the majority of y'all are poor. But I'm talking about all y'all making a, at least, if your household income is less than $150,000, you ain't safe in America if you're black. Nothing you got is safe. Because you don't have any kind of assets that's multi-generational. You can't guarantee your kids going to be free. White folks guarantee your kids going to be free. It's got trust funds. That's why I'm white folks that live in Manhattan. You can't live there. That's why the Chinese come over there. They took flushing. Took it. Took it. And you all be getting your stuff jacked, Negro. And it's the first time in history it's ever happened because nobody, nobody want, ever wanted no, that bullshit. You got, y'all get trickled down to y'all colored Negro. Mexican come over here and jack your shit. <laughs> Mexican move, <clears throat> if one Mexican moves into a black neighborhood, Negro can start moving out because they're about to take your shit. Because the Jewish landlord is going to put a Spanish super there and they ain't going to rent to you as a war of attrition against your asses. <coughs> That's right. That's what it is right here in New York City. Let me show you. Let me show you right here in New York City. What I just said to you is exactly what I went through experience to tell about it in my book. There goes the World Trade Center getting real built in the background right there. They knocked down two to make one. Most black people do not believe Osama bin Laden did anything about blowing up the World Trade Center. For what? He couldn't do nothing that big. This is the great empire of the United States of America. <clears throat> and there's no way those amateurs could have breached every security apparatus of the airports in those major cities and did that shit. People got to fucking realize, man. Come on now. A jetliner did not crash in the Pentagon. It was not a jetliner. You know why? Because minutes after that, you would have seen the engines. That is the key telltale sign of what it is that you got. It's the engines. And there wasn't no engine. You picking up a jetliner, you picking up fragments of, 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 of aluminum. Nah, that's a drone. <laughs> 
That's a drone. You guys are being played just like the American public got played in 1942 in Pearl Harbor. The United States dismantled by presidential order, very secret. Dismantled the radar. We don't want nobody to know what's coming. Because when it comes, it's got to do its damage. That's got the only thing that throws us into war. Because the Americans were siding with the Nazis. America was more pro Nazi because it was better than being pro communist. I lived in the 20th century. So, all you 21st century folks. If you don't know, know the lesson of history, you're bound to, re to repeat the same mistakes. Black people keep repeating the same mistakes. Let's see if Obama is a mistake, and you won't know until he's out. All I know is right now I've got me an Obama apartment. I'm living just fine. And I'm about to get me... Now somebody's paying attention. <clears throat> about veterans and this, this, and that. But see, I ain't a regular guy. I'm out of six million dollars. Do you know what if what I'd be doing right now if I had $50,000 in my pocket right now? I have me a nice apartment in downtown Jamaica in that brand new building, Family Court, on 89th Avenue, on the western side of 89th Avenue and, 100, and Parsons Boulevard. I have me a nice freaking car. What kind of hot ass car you need these days to pull these hoes? Anything. Anything that's brand new. <laughs> Anything is brand new. What do I like? I don't know what I like. Um, I like the Fiat. I like, I like, I don't know, man. I think, I think I'm going to reserve judgment. But I got to have your sports cars, got to be five speed, got to have moonroof, got to have uh, uh, GPS. Uh, I got to have, uh, I don't want AM, FM. I want pay radio so I can listen to Howard Stern, sick motherfucker that he is. That's my boy because he's a rebel. He's a rebel. Yeah. And he turned being a rebel into a multi-million dollar business. He's damn near multinational. He says, I'm an ugly white boy. <laughs> I got to have money. <laughs> I love Howard Stern. I love how it's stuck. Lord have mercy. I'm out of six million bucks. I got me a roommate I can live with that's not so freaking judgmental, Jesus Christ. Easy going, motherfucker. You might as well be a fucking hippie. <laughs> He's cool. The motherfucker's cool. What do you want from me? I, look, man, it's almost like I'm alone in this house, and he's a shadow. <laughs> God damn, I'm, I'm living with Casper and shit. I can't be happier. What the fuck you want from me? I can't be happier. And I'm about to get my own joint, and now it's two of us that homeless again, okay? Um, the last guy I took a picture with, I was homeless. I believe they killed him, so I'm not going to get together and... We gonna show two homeless vets because the last two homeless vets was me and the son of New York State Senator Huntley, and they killed that boy for his show. That show he gave me on TV because he gave so many secrets. They killed him for it, and I'm sure he was happy to stop suffering on this freaking planet and go through the transformation of whatever his whether his soul gonna be dormant for a, 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 a millennia, five twenty billion a millennia. And then he's going to reappear as some kind of creature somewhere on the other side of the universe 
if God recycles. <laughs> God recycles souls. You guys can't tell me you believe in a God that only created us and we're the only ones in the universe. We can't be. Look outside. No. Go to your kitchen and find your fucking roach. He created more than you humans. <laughs> So whatever you selling me and your bullshit is bullshit. I don't believe in your God like that. I don't believe in that God like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Crazy. And the Genesis and I, I think you're feeling me wanting to get romantic. What? I got to get to know you before I, before I start wanting to get romantic with you. <laughs> That's right. That's my woman, but it ain't my woman for like sex and all that. She can go do that with somebody else. Till we get together. I'm, I'm, I'm getting you. It's not like you getting me. I'm getting you. I'm training you. I'm showing you. I'm dealing with you. I'm getting you. I'm gonna be kissing your ass and then you know throw you shit and that's when you decide you I'm worthy enough. Uh-uh, I did that already. That's why I need that 50 grand. I need that 50 grand. I turn to straight up hoe again. <laughs> straight up, us hoes. That's right. Let me get that. That's right. Well, right now I kind of like wanna just get married. <laughs> I wanna get married. I found me a nice young lady. Genesis, and I want to marry her. Tracy, I'm going to need at least a million dollars a year and save at least $500,000 of it. But I want to deal with Tracy. I love Tracy. Tracy, fine. Hindu princess, all that stuff. But straight, Tracy, that's my baby for money. And uh, Genesis, my baby for love. So, on Thanksgiving, we got to give thanks to me for me being so smart, for me being so resilient that I'm able to whoop the ass of every elected official in town. <laughs> and I'm prosecuting the attorney general to boot. Now, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's punishment for the governor that didn't do his damn job last time. I mean, I'm just a freaking superhero. That is just in full bloom. <laughs> and I'm so humbled before me. <laughs> Damn! Have you watched enough of my videos on YouTube to see how much of a badass I am? I did this with nothing. Damn! Woo! My legacy to my children that I'm going to have with my woman, Genesis. If not, it's going to be another one, I swear. But I'm not going to make no black nigga baby to suffer in America. All right, I'm not, I'm sorry. I like black women and all that stuff, but if I fall in love with a black woman, we have a child, the child must be reared, go to school out of the United States. If I'm going to be with some African American. Or else I'm going to be in Canada with a nice French woman, and I ain't got to worry about that. Her blood will, and my blood, that's free blood, will have a child, okay? But if I were to get together with an African-American, which is very unlikely, nice, beautiful woman, but I'll see you when I get some money, because I already know how you is, and all of that bullshit. <laughs> what? If you want a black girl, what do you do? You make sure you put your freaking, put a big wad in your pocket. And them motherfuckers, they breed with them like that and live that freaking lifestyle. Freaking animal shit, man. Get out of here. I serve in class cockamamie nonsense, man. She's the house Negro watching all of what the master got. And she's got to go through 20 different niggas to get shit. Because she want to live like the master. You have servant class female. 
If they have, if if black women had brains to go for all the ass they got, it'd be the master race. <laughs> master race. And but got a bunch of freaking cowards you're put into office. And then I go over there and we got a bunch of women. They don't want to talk politics. They ain't got no political science degrees. They ain't got no education. They just hide ass babes in the office of black elected officials. And that's who they give a job to do shit that's supposed to run this country. Is that stupid or what? A white man being elected into office in a black district will do more for a Negro than a black Negro in office. And black Negroes don't forget about that shit. I can't help them. I just wasted 10 years of my life. Right now, it's not for me to get mine. I saved somebody's life. I saved two people's lives that would have really died. And you know what I got? I got punished for that shit. So whatever you think I got, this food I got, this will buy my apartment, no money in my pocket. Whatever it is that I got, you owe me more. I want more. <laughs> I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more. Let's eat some more. It's Thanksgiving. Hey, yep. we're going to eat. We're going to eat. We're going to commit the sin of gluttony today. Knowingly, willingly, and with malice and forethought. Bye bye. Happy Thanksgiving. You still owe me more. Go get it. Bye.